Welcome to a Reddit Bytes production, the best Reddit channel on YouTube. If you subscribe right now, I will give you a cookie. If you don't, that's cool too. Enjoy the show. Today's Ask Reddit post. What is the worst thing you've overheard while pretending to be asleep? Oh boy, this is gonna be a good one. Let's get started. Freshman college roommate watching porn on his laptop wearing headphones, humping his mattress like there's no tomorrow. I pretended to sleep through the doctor sitting at my kitchen table telling my dad he had stage 3 cancer. I was 9. He's totally fine now, but it really sucked at the time. Sleeping over at a friend's house when I was 14. All of us on the floor in living room. Couldn't sleep. Two of my friends, guy and girl, directly next to me start doing freaky things to each other. I was extremely shy and a couple of years younger than them so I stayed quiet and hoped they'd stop. Had to listen to them for an hour while she made weird ass moaning squeaky noises and he was singing, in a weird slightly whispery singy voice, matchbox 20 songs to her while he did whatever he was doing. That was last time I slept over at a friend's house. Lomfeo that is weird as fck. What, you don't sing during sx. That I was dying with meningitis but jokes on the doctors I'm still kicking. You ever live just to flex on the haters, yet did it to the same doctor twice now. Third time lucky. My friends talking about going into my wallet later and steal my money, and then leave before I notice. I kick them out. Some friends hug. I don't think I saw this episode. The one where Monica steals $50 and gets f ked up on heroin. My grandparents won $10,000 at the casino, and they told all of their children, and presumably gave them some of that money, except my dad. My dad is a DCK so I didn't tell him either. I was fking sad and sorry for you and your dad. Then the last sentence followed, and JF King laughed my ass off. My father telling my mother that sometimes he just wanted to kill me. I was 5 years old when I overheard this. Being that my dad was an alcoholic and full of rage I believed him and lived my entire childhood believing he was going to kill me. No wonder people at school think he's gay. My stepmom. My stepdad thought I was gay from the ages 16-19 based on the fact when I got my driver's license I wasn't out 24 stroke 7 chasing tail. Probably the funniest was on a camping trip with the boys. I have sleep apnea and use a pap machine. I overheard a couple of my mates talking about smoking a joint and hotboxing me through the air intake of my pap machine. My mum's boyfriend sloppily trying to fck my mum all drunk as tea whilst we're all sharing the same fking hotel room. I was 13. That just brought back a memory for me too. I can't remember how old I was, somewhere between 10 and 14. Sharing a room on holiday and same thing happened. Was a great holiday until that point. I remember coughing to try and get them to stop but they didn't. Not me, but my wife heard her boyfriend having sx with her best friend. This was obviously long before we met. I was about to say wtf. The my wife or your boyfriend meme almost became a reality. Probably my dad's dementia screaming. Usually nothing is wrong, but he'll wake up at 4 or 5 in the morning to yell at God and grind his teeth. You never do get used to it. I used to have really bad insomnia and would sit in the living room on the nights I couldn't sleep and heard my grandma doing the same thing almost every night. She would scream at herself most saying why can't you just die you stupid cow. Oh jeez. I'm sorry for your grandma and you for hearing it. Dementia runs in my family and watched my maternal great grandma, great aunt, and grandma all suffer through it. Big hugs to you. My older brother in the next room when he snuck a girl in. They had sx for about a minute and then I could hear him apologizing for about 20. May not be the worst ever, but it's definitely the funniest. Hey, it happens to the best of us. Definitely if the tank hasn't been emptied in a while. My mom having an affair with her fiance's best friend, who was married, in the same room that I was sleeping in. I was like 10 years old. Edit. Spelling. Damn. Can't imagine that. Did that affect your relationship with her? My mom and aunt talking, thinking 10 year old me was asleep. Aunt, little run Zengus's is so cute. Mom, no, he's not very good looking at all. Had the same experience, but the difference was that I wasn't asleep and my mom said that in front of me, while maintaining direct eye contact to you. My sister's soon to be fiance Wn King while saying her name. At least he wasn't saying someone else's name. Solid commitment to WNK over your partner. This is a case of next to everything else in this thread. This looks positively heartwarming. 
My mom and I were sharing a hotel room on a trip and unfortunately only had one bed so we had to share that too. As I was trying to fall asleep, I kept hearing the text tone from my mom's phone going off and her giggling. My parents hate each other so I knew it wasn't my dad she was texting with. Curious. I opened my eyes just a little bit to see that she was flirting with other men while on a trip with her family and I was in fact staring at a DCK pic. I couldn't really go back to sleep after that. My family were staying at a friend's house and had to share a room. My dad comes to bed hammered and says to my mum something along the lines of does it impress you that I'm this drunk and can still perform? I actually wanted to die. Wow reading this gave me bystander desire for death. Glad you made it through that one. The fight isn't over, friend. He still has to struggle with the afterglow. My roommate and her FWB having loud, dirty talk sx. I just had my wisdom teeth out and I think they assumed I was passed out on pain meds. The person in the bunk under me beating his DCK like it owed him money. It borrowed $20 from me last week. Am I supposed to just let the little guy off? Well that's seemingly the intention. My sister got drunk and I heard a loud thud and she blacked out. Two of her friends and my mom and dad were shouting at each other and they were saying to shut up cause they didn't want to wake me up and they were all crying thinking she was dead and I couldn't tell my sister I was happy she didn't die. Now I appreciate seeing her every week. I think she died. Shut up you're gonna wake up Fox fails. Sounds like the right priority lol. Roommate's boyfriend and his friend came into my room when they thought I was asleep. It was warm and I was sleeping naked with minimal blanket coverage. I froze and pretended to sleep. They proceeded to talk about my body and how it was anyone's type. Also how easily it was to drug ladies these days. Oh and also the friend talked about how easy it would be to steal sell my boyfriend's boat motor that he had stored in the room. Yes yeah, so they were kicked out and friend became an ex-friend because she was p said I let my boyfriend kick them out. Roommate's boyfriend and his friend came into my room when they thought I was asleep. Who the fck just enters someone's room like that anyway. Even if they didn't say a single word, that'd be still creepy at fck. My mom on a payphone, begging her boyfriend for more heroin. Edit, my mom was driving around town late at night, probably trying to score, and I was sleeping in the passenger seat. She stopped at a parking lot. I woke up and pretended to be asleep. This was back when payphones were in convenience store parking lots everywhere. Mid 90s. Edit 2. Last I heard. My mom is clean and doing well enough. I haven't talked to her in almost 20 years. It's healthier for me that way. I'm sorry. Hope you're doing alright now. Parents talking about plans for when they were going to have sex. What were the plans? Semicolon. My dad coming home from work at lunchtime the next day to do it while we kids would be at school. When I got back from school that day, I couldn't look my parents in the eyes. My roommate's one night stand dismount because his DCK was hitting her bladder and she waddled off for a PSS before getting back on top. That is so lovely. I'm trying not to picture it. My dad and stepmom was having a foursome with a couple of their friends. We were at a summer house and they did it in the living room. I felt so uncomfortable eating breakfast the next day. Well, my friends sucking each other's DCK. They were 16. Did you feel left out? I did. My parents discussing whether or not I was gay, and exploring where they went wrong with raising me. Too many hugs. Edit. This really blew up and I've got a lot of people wondering whether or not I'm gay. For the record, I am straight and have had sex with a bunch of girls. Take that mom and dad. My mom once asked me if I was depressed because she didn't give me enough hugs. Edit. I think it's funny sad that my highest rated comment is about my mom trying to make my carefully written, tear filled depression confession about her. When I was like 10 or 11 I visited my dad and while we were watching a movie I tried to fall asleep and I proceeded to hear him fck his gf on the bed I was trying to sleep on. When I woke up all I saw was clothes on the floor. I don't know why I didn't just get up and leave but at least I fell asleep before it really started. No offense but wtf is wrong with your dad? On a class trip, I heard a girl talk badly about me to the other girls in my room, saying I was a retard and too dumb to stand up for myself. She said the only reason she didn't bully me out of the school was because she needed me to help her with my homework. Then my best friend stood up for me. She said that I wasn't dumb and just a bit shy, and then told her to f off. She's a retard, but I need her to help with my HW. On Theo, what a dumbest thing to say. You like that you f king retard? 
My then boyfriend opening up our bedroom door to show me off to his friends while I was sleeping. It was the middle of summer so I was lying butt naked on our bed. He thought I was asleep. Huge fight occurred the next morning and we were not dating for long after that event. WTF man. I'm still pissed off about that. You knew I was naked. That's the second time this has occurred in this thread. Not good. Old roommates planning to kick me out. Did they do it? I wasn't pretending to be asleep per se, but I was well on my way. I was under anesthesia and was fading in and out. I remember closing my eyes to help move things along. I was in a lot of pain because my appendix ruptured. This happened years ago, so I can't remember all of the details. Unfortunately, I remember being moved over to an operating table, and they told me to take my shirt off, I think. I heard someone go, what do you think would happen if I poked her belly button right now? Comma I was an outie prior to having an appendectomy. They went through my belly button so that is no longer the case. Anyway, someone, very quickly, responded. Dude, that is not funny. Remember what happened the last time? Right double quotation mark. It's possible I was starting to dream, but I remember it making me feel a mix of amusement and anxiety, and faith with tears of joy. My Airbnb host having loud sx right outside my door. They were just entertaining the guests. Had a bunk bed in college and one night my girlfriend and I woke up to my roommate banging some chick on the top bunk. My girlfriend asked me what we should do and I just mumbled just go back to sleep because I figured saying something to them at the moment would make things much more awkward. He still doesn't know. Bang your girl to assert dominance. Bang his girl to assert dominance. When I was a kid. I was pretending to sleep in the car. I was in the back seat, next to my older sister. I was probably 6 or 7, so she would have been around 13. She let out a raunchy, all windows down, gag the rest of the car sort of fart. It was loud, but we were both in the back. She immediately blames it on me farting in my sleep. The whole car laughs and rolls down their windows, and I stayed asleep. No one to this day knows that it was her, and she still thinks she got away with it. I got you sis. This is the humor I needed after reading the rest of this thread. Something like she's too old for this, I'm not going to carry her up to bed anymore. And that was the last time I was magically transported from the living room couch to my bedroom. My daughter is a teenager and thinks she's be too old for this but I'd give almost anything for her to be a little girl again so I could carry her to bed. I truly don't understand some parents. Edit. Thank for all the replies. I've enjoyed reading them and replying to some. Also. Thank you for my first award. Everyone, remember to love on your children as much as possible. This world can be extremely difficult for them and your support means more than they will tell you. Late in the comments here, but I heard the news my dad passed away pretending to sleep, and x200b. I was 12 at the time, woke up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. Headed to the kitchen to get some water after and saw my sister sitting on the couch. She asked if I could sleep out in the living room with her and I didn't think anything of it. Woke up the next morning and kept my eyes closed. I heard my mom telling my dad's best friend we lost him. I won't forget it. Before I got divorced, was laying in bed late, 11am or so, on my day off. After a long string of I think 10 or so work days in a row, my ex who refused to get a job, was in the next room playing a video game, and I heard him say that Moth Earth King BTCH is still sleeping. The Moth Earth King BTCH paying all the bills so you can sit on your ass 24 stroke 7? Yikes. Glad you got out of there, right? If my wife let me do that you bet your ass I would be doing every house chore so she was satisfied. My mom being raped by her abusive husband. It was on a bunk bed and me and my brother were on the top bunk silently crying. I don't talk about it much but it sticks with me. Edit. Hey guys. Wow. I wasn't expecting this to blow up so much but it was so wonderful reading everyone's comments. It sounds like a lot of people have been through something similar and I am glad this comment got people to talk about it. Update on that guy. I have no clue where he is. I ended up moving in with my dad a couple years after this and never really looked back. My mother got away from him shortly after that. I did start talking to my brother again recently and maybe thinking of sharing Christmas together this year. Damn. Hope you're doing okay. Not my place to give advice. But having someone to tell trauma like that to out loud helps a lot. For PST friends. My walls were thin. I could hear almost anything. My parents argued in what they thought was a quiet voice. About divorce. 
Then my dad says you can keep the kid. He annoys the F at and dollar sign out of me. The next week they told me and signed the papers. Edit. Thank you everyone for the kind words. It means a lot to me. I do not really miss him much. He was mentally abusive and verbally abusive. I would sneak out but couldn't bring my mom. That was the hardest. I'm sad but also glad he is gone. Since I am an adult I don't have to see him ever again. Another thing thanks for the award. Edit again. Damn thanks for both the awards. Neighbor guy walking through the house with a couple of his friends showing them how we leave stuff laying around all the time and it was easy to steal things from us without us knowing. I wasn't pretending to be asleep so much as they assumed I was asleep. My in-laws thought I was still napping after dropping my kid off at school. And they started to shti talk me. They said I was a terrible mom. I didn't care about my kids at all and they better buy a cake because I would rather sleep all day than make him a cake. It was his birthday and my god. It was only 10am. It doesn't take that long to make and frost a cake for him. Anyways. I cried in my room for 2 hours before they left to buy groceries i.e. drink themselves into a stupor. Before I got up and made the cake and birthday dinner my child asked for. I didn't tell my husband what they said until a week later because I didn't want to ruin his or my child's day. So sorry you had to hear that. I'm sure your kid and husband loved the cake and had a lovely day. My mom and stepdad talking mad tea about me. I was in high school and needed to start seeing the counselor for mental health issues. My parents were essentially making fun of me, saying that I wanted attention and started mocking my voice saying, no one understands me, I'm so mistreated. My parents used to do that to my brother to his face before he lashed and, and then he got in trouble for it. I feel bad for him. I'm a grown adult and I still don't have the spine to stand up to my parents for the way they treat me. Rumored getting a BLWJB. The worst part was when I heard him say I'm gonna come. Legit wanted to die. At least he was courteous enough to inform his partner of his forthcoming nut. Forthcoming. Parents divorce. Comma sad. We could do it. She wouldn't tell anyone if we took photos of her first. Yikes. Not the worst thing. Just reminded me of the time I shared a hotel room with my grandfather in AC and he got up in the middle of the night to pee as oldies do and before he went back to sleep he said a prayer out loud for his late wife. Still gets me every time. Oh, that's so sweet but also really sad. Bro, you actually watched the whole video. I'd give you a high five if I was a human. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe for more great content. See you next time.